has found a new home. <laughs> Check it out. Ended up deciding not to put this on my Charvel TE Custom because I would have had to make some modifications to the Charvel and I didn't want to do that because it's an original 92 and it's never been touched and I am getting stainless steel frets put on that neck so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play with that. So why did I put this on my Musi Capricorn? So in case you guys have never seen these, this is the Cranberry uh, Red Flame Top Musi Capricorn. And um, you know, I've always liked this guitar, but honestly I haven't played it much because this thing buzzes terribly. So when I got it, you know, the E string was buzzing bad. So I thought, well, whatever, it's probably just action or it's relief or uh, poorly cut nut or, you know, un uneven frets. So I addressed all of that stuff. And if anything, it was worse. <laughs> so, so I don't know. I, look, that neck is not twisted. It's not warped. It's perfectly straight according to my notched ruler. If I go from one side to the other, there's no bowing of any kind. Um, those frets are dead level according to two fret rockers, right? Like I, I used two different ones thinking, gee, maybe I have a fret rocker that's crooked. So I just, I haven't been able to figure out what the heck is going on with that neck. So I put this guitar, you know, it's just been hanging on my wall and I haven't really been using it, but I, I I've always wanted to, because it's a beautiful guitar. So then I got to thinking, geez, maybe I could put the scarred neck on this guitar and ta -da, there you go. I did that tonight and I didn't record it because I really didn't think I was gonna make a video about this but then I thought eh, maybe inquiring minds would like to know. So uh, I'm gonna give you the good and the bad about this scarred neck. Now this might not be all scarred necks, this might just be this one. Um, if they're made overseas in a factory and they're firing them out uh, there's gonna be some discrepancies, I guarantee it. So some might be good, some might be not so good. Um, so here's my experience with the scarred neck with the install on this guitar. Here's what I can tell you. Um, I don't know what these necks are built to fit on. But I can tell you what they don't fit on. They don't fit on Squires. They don't fit on Fenders, Stratocasters or Tellys. They don't fit on Charvels. <laughs> they don't fit on Musies. Um, so I don't know what these fit. Maybe they'll fit like IYV or a Moon, uh, which is a guitar I customized a while back, or um, some uh, Indio guitars. Maybe they fit those. I, I have no idea. But they certainly don't fit the ones that I have here. So I had to sand the neck. I didn't want to hack up my Musi guitar because these things are like perfectly cut out. I just sanded down the edges of the neck on each side of the pocket. I used uh, 250 grit sandpaper and a sanding bar and I took some meat off and then I polished that with some 400, 800 and 1000 grit. I reconditioned the neck. Now these are roasted maple um, so it you know, it's like 
barely any finish on it per se. So I just kind of re-oiled it and that's it. And you're not going to see that there anyway. So yeah, it, it came out a little rough, but you know, now that it's in place, it snapped in there well and uh, no issues whatsoever. So yeah, so that's the first thing. The other thing, uh, this neck, according to uh, the specs on eBay when I ordered it, it said stainless steel frets. Um, I don't know if these are stainless steel or not. I'm not saying they're not, but if they are stainless steel, it's one of the softest stainless steels that I've ever seen. And the only reason I say that is because I had to level some frets to get this, you know, fret job perfect. And when I do my Musies or other guitars I have that have stainless steel frets, when I use my fret files on them, the sound is high pitched and, and it's just, it's different. Like the scraping noise, you know, of the tool on the fret. And it takes, it takes quite a few strokes to get some meat off of a stainless steel fret. Like you, you gotta put some effort into it. These, um, it was a piece of cake to file these down. Like a couple passes and they were level. Like, like it was no issue. There was only two of them that were, that were high on this neck. And really it took virtually nothing to get them down. Um, so that's the only reason why I say that. I, I don't know if there's a test for stainless steel that you guys know of, let me know. I can, I'll, I'll test it. But anyway, the other thing that I don't like, Personally, it's just a it's just a tasting. It doesn't have anything to do with the neck playability, whatever. But it has black fret markers on top of the neck, albeit they're really small. Um, I personally would like them a little bit bigger. And um, but these fret markers are almost translucent. Like if I back away, you almost don't see them. And for me, I'm not a very well versed guitar player. I don't you know know my neck really well, so I really look at these dots for, uh, you know, as a map, like for location, right? And when the guitar is tilted this way, and I'm looking down, like just right here in the basement, um, I, I barely see those white or translucent fret markers. Like I almost, I almost don't see them. So I'll be curious to see how this works at a gig when it's dark and the lights are flashing different colors. It might be fine. I don't know. I'm just saying what I noticed here tonight. Third thing is, uh, obviously the fret leveling. You will have to level some frets. Uh, you might get one that's perfect, but um, I've heard from a few people since I posted that I got one of these that had them and they had to do a fret leveling. And one of them, you know, the frets are really bad, like as far as inconsistent heights. Um, again, mine, two. Two high spots, that was it. Frets were a little bit gritty and grimy, so I, you know, I, I was gonna polish them up anyway, and um, I did all that and they are like glass, like they really, there's no friction at all. So the other thing is, the nut is not cut uh, to the depth as per the first fret. So you're definitely gonna have to make some adjustments to the nut, depending how fussy you are. It was playable as was, but um, uh, I had to deepen the grooves on every one of these strings uh, by quite a bit. I was surprised at how much I had to file down. So that's it. The good thing about this neck, um, tuners went on perfectly. Tuner holes are bang on for anything that I have, like Fender, Musi, uh, you know, 10 millimeter tuners or whatever. They fit in there, no problem at all. Um, the neck is super light, so the guitar actually balances kind of better with this neck than the original. Um, the neck feels great. The neck is thick. Uh, some of you might not like that. The neck is not a slim C. It almost feels, this neck that I have, almost feels like a Music Man neck where it's meatier at the top and it kind of gets thinner at the bottom. It's, you know, it feels good like for cording, but it is a meaty neck. It's got some meat to it for sure. So if you like slim C, you may not like this one. And I don't know if they're all like that or this is just the run of necks that I got that was like that. But, um, you know, it's possible they'll be refining their neck uh, specs, right, based on customer reviews and, and they might come out with something totally different. So you guys might not have what I have. Um, as far as fitment, like I said, I had to sand it down, had to bolt it in. Um, 
everything else lines up, you know, the strings through the nut slots, like everything, everything was good there, no issues. And the buzzing is gone. I don't have any, I still, you know what? I still have some buzzing on the E string. <laughs> It depends how I fret the note. So I don't know if it's because of these medium jumbo frets. Maybe it's because of these strings that I'm using. I use DR Dragon Skins. Maybe they vibrate a little different than the regular uncoated string. I don't know. Anyway, but I do, I do still have some issues with the E string, but nothing close to what the original Musi neck was doing on this guitar. I have no other Musi guitars that buzz like that. So I, I don't know what it is. I'm not sure. Now, I, I kind of have a theory. If you look at the back of this guitar, you know how the, the mounting screws, like the neck mounting screws, are all nice and you know perfectly in line with this, this nice uh, contoured heel there? Well, it, you know, it looks good from the outside of the guitar. Everything looks centered and balanced. But if you take this neck off, look. So look at the whole pattern. Look how uneven it is on the back of the pocket. There isn't even pressure on the back of these necks. Whereas if you look at a Fender neck, so this is a old neck off of a Strat that I kind of rescued from Fiona <laughs> back a couple years ago. Um, so check that out. See how perfectly balanced, so to speak, the spacing of these holes are, right? So when you put this in your guitar, right? It, there's even pressure in all four corners holding that neck down. Whereas on something like this Musi, you know, because of the design of the way the heel's made, the contoured heel, um, and trying to keep the outside of the guitar cosmetically uh, correct, so to speak, the mounting holes for this neck are definitely not centered. And I'm wondering if that's creating like kind of a a twist in the pocket, you know what I mean? Maybe you're getting inconsistent geometry from one end to the other of the neck, maybe causing your buzzing everywhere. Look, I, I don't know, I don't know, but but something is wrong and I, I, I can't figure it out. So to correct this, maybe what Musi has to do, you know, if that in fact is the issue, maybe what Musi has to do is relocate these holes on the outside and although they won't look nice and balanced on the outside, they would be better placed on the back of the actual neck. But then again, obviously, the screw holes are exactly in the same place on this neck as they are on that neck, and I'm not having that buzzing issue or near as bad with this neck. So, I don't know. Now, in defense of the Musi neck, I did add an extra shim with this neck. I just found it was a little bit too straight when I put this one in. Uh, so maybe the extra shim is all I needed to do. There was already a shim under the Musi neck, but I've added an extra one with this one. Maybe I should have done that first and done, did the experiment. But anyway, uh, this works well, and I like the maple fretboard, and I want to try it. So, so it works great. Another good thing about this neck, the intonation intonates perfectly. I didn't even actually have to touch it. I took the music neck off, you know, I installed this thing, mounted, marked the holes, did all that stuff, and um, I didn't touch the intonation. Everything was great. Perfect, perfect intonation. So obviously the spacing of the frets and the length of the scale is bang on, so there's no issues with that, with my neck. Um, so that's it, guys. That's um, my experience with the scarred neck. So far, so good. I am going to uh, gig this thing twice on the weekend, Friday and Saturday. I have, we have two shows, local, and uh, and I'm gonna give this neck a try. So anyway, I'm not getting rid of my Musi neck. I'm, I wanna get it looked at by someone and see if they can spot anything. And I wanna find out if these offset mounting holes can could be the issue. I don't know, I wanna get, uh, get to the bottom of this. So some of you have already experienced this and already know the answer. Uh, if you don't mind letting me know, I would really appreciate it. But other than that, this neck, it's great. There's lots of sustain. I'm just going through a little solid state amp. 
um, I'm driving it a bit at a little 10 inch speaker so it doesn't sound you know great but... but you know it plays great stays in tune perfectly and I just reuse the same old strings you know I jammed them in there so and it's holding tune great like this neck seems very solid so anyway we'll see how it works on the weekend and if there's anything you know that uh, surfaces any problems uh, stability wise tuning wise whatever I will definitely let you guys know but as of right now uh, this scarred neck you know for 99 bucks US um, it's good <laughs> Anyway. anyway guys you guys take care god bless let me know what you think and uh see you next one